What's up guys and welcome back to episode 2 of our Planet Zoo career. Today we are going to be moving on to our next objective, our next zoo. This one is called Panda Park. Ah, okay, this is going to be kind of interesting, something a little bit different. Let's, um, let's see how this goes. This is beautiful. Ah, oh, pandas. <laughs> and they're my daughter's favorite animal. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. Oh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. <laughs> It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> oh, but did you know? Thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> I didn't know that. Amazing. That's good. That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It really speaks to our reputation. A reputation that you're going to be in charge of maintaining, along with all the uh, general maintaining, too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps more presently, the eyes of Nancy are on you, too. <laughs> I'm ready for any challenge you can throw at me, baby. Here we go. Welcome to China. This is Bernie's brand new panda celebration zoo. So new, in fact, that it's not quite finished. But we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. So over here is going to be our giant Obviously, panda giant habitat. Pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. Where's he at? Let's go and have a look at it. Oh! Oh go my on. gosh! Don't be shy. Select the panda cub. Oh, he is so oh. cute. Doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? So cute! Did you know that giant pandas, or Ailoropoda merinaluca, for being formal, are the only entirely herbivorous bears? They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. <laughs> Not that surprising, given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluff ball has that kind of appetite yet, though. It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. Let's go! The authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. So open up Animal Trading and go into the Animal Reward section. Sweet. All right, Just so we're going to grab all three of these guys. Storage next to each of the pandas, and then they'll be sent there. And we're going to send them to Animal Storage. Finally, we can send them from Animal Storage to quarantine. To do okay. that, just select them in Animal Storage, then click Send to Zoo and then click on the quarantine facility in the zoo. Don't worry, I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. Beautiful. While we wait for them to clear quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, we're not gonna have much of a breeding program, are we? <laughs> so go on, move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, this is Chen Chenwa. We don't want her. This is the big man of the hour, Yashang. Brother, you are about to have a great time, my man. I can't uh, I can't lie to you. So this is gonna be our new habitat over here. Dude, this is beautiful. So we're gonna move him this way. Then I think if we, if we go into our animals, are these guys done with the quarantine? Hopefully. They're currently in the quarantine. I'm gonna move uh, these three out of quarantine into, uh, into this this new habitat and it looks looks like this is where the gate's gonna be so they're gonna bring them in that way but let's let's go ahead and make this something exciting something nice something beautiful for these guys dude look at this this nighttime you can see the sun setting on the mountains in the background we've got the lights coming online and the 
smoke and the fire and everything else. Dude, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. All right, cool. So we're going to come in here and uh, we need to add a feeding station for the pandas. Here comes our first one. So I'm going to go ahead and, and sort this by the, uh, the giant pandas. See what they like. We're going to take a look at food and water. I'm going to say feeding platform. Probably want to put that like somewhere over here. And then we could put the, the water, we'll put a little water fountain right next to it so people can watch. Enrichment slow, both for food and for toy enrichment, as well as we need some better terrain and more plants. So let's take a look at the, uh, the terrain he's looking for. He wants more short grass and less tall grass. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring out our, our terrain tool, short grass. This should, should kind of help out a little bit. Do more in the back. Shoot, now we want a little bit more soil. I'm down to do a, do a little soil over here. Okay, perfect. So he should be happy there. Now uh, we need to get into, into plants and plant covers. So obviously from the Asian continent, temperate biome. So we're gonna come into nature and we're gonna sort by the, uh, the Asia continent and the temperate biome. What about a cherry blossom tree? Does that do much for you? That's gonna give him a 3% there. Maybe if we put a couple cypress trees along each fence post here. I found some bamboo. This this is what these guys want. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, a few bamboo trees around here. I don't really like, can we? So in, a, in our normal zoo, we can control the time completely how we want. And this one we can't. So uh, I don't really love that it's nighttime, but I guess Beggars can't be choosers, so I'm gonna set some some bamboo up like that. They've gotta love bamboo, right? Yeah, they like the bamboo. It's not doing a ton for them, but they like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put different bamboo on. Uh, ooh, that's a big piece. I like that boy. I'm gonna put different bamboo on each each corner of this this little thing here. These lilies are uh, are pretty beautiful, so I think I'm I think I'm gonna gonna throw a, a few of these down in the water. Gonna put a few there. We could probably switch it up to a different lily and you know put put something like right here. In that corner, that looks pretty good. We're starting to get a little bit better. The problem is he really doesn't like this African plant, North American plant, North American plant, but those are the plants that are in this thing. Do they have that in the other panda habitat? They don't. So do we have to go through? Do we have to can we can we edit this? Heater 257. How do we how do we change the plants in here? Because he doesn't he really doesn't like the plants. Ooh, look at this giant fountain bamboo. We could we could st stick this maybe out here, give him something to mess with. I, I think we're only gonna be able to combat the, the bad plants over there with, with just more plants out here. So we're gonna set that up. What else? What else would he like? Ooh, bracken. I bet they like bracken. So we could set up, uh, we could set up some, some, a little bracken bunch over here, just like that. They like their little, little stumps and stuff. So we could put a little stump in the ground. We could kind of grab some, some plants and, and put it around it. Plants are going up. Okay. This is good. This is, this is fantastic. We are, we are doing the right thing here. I feel like this corner back here is kind of boring. So let's, let's try to get, uh, let's get some, some big trees in here. Like we could do a holly tree. I know they probably like elm trees. There's sycamores. Are there any more, like, why aren't there any huge bamboo options? We've got some cypress trees. There's got to be. There's got to be some bigger bamboo. I wish we could see better. Hold on. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. I'm going to speed it up until it's, until it's daylight. Cause I, I can't even really see what's happening. I guess with the, the moonlight, it's starting to get a little bit better. So I'm going to, I'm going to take some more of these and put these back here. Ultimately, I think they just need a, a lot more, uh, a lot more coverage. So we're going to, we're going to try to try to hook them up as much as we can. We could even do like a really, let's do a huge, ooh, it's getting dark again. Ah, there's the daylight we were looking for. I'm gonna do a, a ton of bracken in here, and then uh, and then we're gonna put more trees there. So we're just gonna make it like a very, very, very wooded area. So that's kind of a little a little feasting zone back there. They can just go crawl around in the leaves and and eat their bamboo and whatever else. All right, that lo looks pretty good. 
Where are these guys at? Oh, this is so cute, dude. That they have their own little hangout spot back here with a heater and everything. And they're using it as a bathroom as well, but still, that's really, really cute. For like, a, I wanna add like a little a little rock here, maybe. A little a little rock formation for them to, to crawl up on might be kinda cool. Ooh, yeah, this this is a cool piece. Move this like this. Dude, the, the customization you can do is just in absolutely insane. We could put a little azalea in here, or a group of azaleas. Make it look kinda nice. Make it look like one big bush, rather than a bunch of little ones. So we've got that. We could put, uh, ooh, ooh, a Bengal bamboo. Okay, so they can climb up there and start start grabbing that. I actually, I feel like the Bengals might might look good back here as well. Put a couple of these guys. Kind of like something something like that. I feel like that looks pretty good. We could even put put another over here on this side. I mean, that's that's pretty. I like it. And we've got our plants welfare up to 90%, I believe. Yeah, it looks like we're up at uh, up at 91%. Look at this, dude. Is this this is our mail, brother? You gotta get to work, my man. You gotta get to work, bro. They like ice. They like bobbins. They like boxes. They like climbable stuff, obviously. They like wind chimes. That's kind of fun. So I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this over here near where people are walking by. So we could put a little a little wind chime right there. Hold on a second. He's going to play with the wind chime. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what sound a panda made. I just learned. It sounds like a sheep. Dude, these are the cutest, fuzziest guys I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh, I love it. We need a, a little a little more enrichment. Let's not get not get carried away here. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw down, I mean we could throw down a box and another box. We could throw down this little bobbin thing back here. That should be good for uh, for the toys. For the food, I'm gonna do a uh, a roller. I feel like it might, what if we put it up here on this? That might be kind of fun. Put a little roller up here. Our new female pandas have been given a clean bill of health. You'd best move them into the new habitat so they can settle in. And I hope you've made their habitat as comfy as possible because animals will only breed if they're happy. I want to use this tree feeder thing, but it's not letting me put it anywhere. So we'll, we'll skip that. I've already moved them in, lady. They are already in here looking. Oh man, looking fine, just sitting in their own manure, licking themselves. I mean, they they are really cute. Like I I can't I can't front on that. Oh, those pandas look just adorable. <laughs> I can see why people keep foolishly forgetting that they're wild bears. <laughs> I'd like you to increase the number of different species in the zoo. Now, you can find out what species are already in your zoo by going into the zoo section and then into the animals area. And if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in, then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space and create interesting habitats. Just make sure to check the Zoopedia to find out which species enjoy living together. E.g. don't mix lions with antelopes. I mean, that would make for a great show, you know what I mean? All right, so now we are gonna have to uh, to increase the number of animals in this zoo. Let's see, we wanna have at least 18 species. We currently have 15, so, um, hmm, this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see what we currently have. So we've got giant tortoises. We could definitely find something else to go in with them. We've got tapirs, pangolins, gharials, uh, giant desert hairy scorpions, and then of course we've got all of our pandas, we've got giant tiger land snails, uh, greater flamingos, Japanese macaques, uh, poison frogs, uh, copies, red pandas, sable antelope, saltwater crocs, and a western diamondback rattlesnake. I want to I want to go see, I want to see the crocs, dude. This is a, a gharial right here. Kind of a, a pretty, pretty intense looking guy. But where, where do we have those crocs at? They're going to be in the water. I'm thinking over here. Ooh, -hoo. look at these big boys, dude. Oh my goodness. That is gnarly. We've got two of these fellas just kind of hanging out. That's also kind of terrifying that they're in the same pond as the flamingos. I feel I feel bad for these guys, but uh, I think uh, I think they're gonna be okay. All right, cool. So we we know a, a basic gist of what we have in here. 
Let's take a look at the animal market and see what we can get. I've looked at uh, pretty much every species in here. I'm trying to I'm trying to find something like literally literally anything that goes well with with others, so they can they can share something. And I don't think uh, I don't think we have anything that shares well with others. I mean, if we if we go for the wildebeests, we can buy wildebeest and put them and warthogs together. So let me see wildebeest. How many how many do they like? Seven to thirty two. We'd have to buy seven wildebeest and then we could put them with um, I'm pretty sure we have warthogs available Warthogs like uh, they like one to seven. So could we get seven wildebeest and it at least one warthog? I mean, there's three wildebeest here. I guess I guess we can adopt these and hope Hope we end up getting able to use them and then let's let's grab this warthog as well. Is there a second warthog we can do? So that's going to be two species, and then we just need to, we need to do one more species. Peafowls here, peacocks are are pretty, pretty simple. So we'll we'll just grab. I think four of those is the answer. We could we could grab another couple females, I guess, just to make things interesting. But that that looks pretty good. So now at the end of the day, we do need some more black wildebeest, just to make sure they're happy with their social setting. But technically, we do have what we need. So we need to make two new. Uh, exhibits. I'm thinking one in this area, one in this area. This probably for the wildebeest and stuff. This for the um, the peacock. And I think that should be good. I'm looking to make sure. I mean, technically we've got some area up here. This is interesting. I like how they have a little decorative decorative thing out here. Problem is, is they've got a really a really beautiful setup here. I love what they've done with all the lights and everything. Like this is a this is a beautiful zoo. We will never get anywhere close to making zoos that look this good. Uh, but yeah, they've got this cool little thing, and then they've also got this that um, we're gonna have to move. Unfortunately, I think we could potentially just straight up move this move this right over here. Now we gotta we gotta move all this too. Looks like we've got a space for it over here. So we can kind of kind of set it like that. Looks nice. All right, looks good. And then we can just grab a few of these, uh, grab a few of these plants here. And uh, we can move these guys over there. So we're, we're gonna try to keep it looking nice. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the easy route here. We could just forget about this thing, but we're, we're gonna make sure it looks nice. Boom, just as effective there. It's actually, it's kind of cool. Let me slow this down. It's a wind turbine. So that's generating power and being, uh, you know, environmentally responsible, which is cool. So now we've got our, our two little little areas here. I'm thinking looks like wood and glass is the way to go here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do is wood and glass. So looking at the peafowls here, they only need 312 square meters of space. As we add more of them, they might need a little bit more, but that's really not much. They need a grade one fence greater than one meter tall. If we place a habitat gate right here, looks good. So how, how big are we talking here? This is 1200 square meters. So we, we really do have quite a bit of room here. So now what we can do is we can edit this barrier and we can go all the way around. We can drop it down. It said it needed to be above one meter. So we're gonna go one, one, 1.02. 1 looks good to me. That should be Plenty short enough that people can just kind of go and look over top of it and see all the peacocks, which is kind of cool. And uh, now I, I think I think we're good. So let's um, let's go ahead and go to our animal trading. We're going to take a look at our at our our storage, and we are going to grab all of these guys, and then we're going to go ahead and move them into said habitat. So let's let's go ahead and do that now. Look at all the confetti! Yay! You're here! We've been looking for you. Alright, how are you looking here? Need some enrichment? Apart from that, I mean, <laughs> literally everything looks good. This is gonna be the easiest group of animals that we've done. So enrichment as well as food and water is gonna be important and uh, and that's about all we need to do. So let's take a look at habitat here. We are gonna look at the uh, the, the Indian peafowl. I mean, we could do a, a large a large food bowl right over here a water pipe right next to that just kind of kind of like that looks good uh looks like we could do some some hard shelter so we could bring in a shelter nothing too big but something for them to be able to relax in i feel like would be kind of nice so i'm gonna put this along the uh along the back wall here close enough that that people can still see them but far enough away that they get their own little sense of of you know 
relaxation and stuff. We need smaller of these for this. So we can kind of set uh, set a little bit of hay in there. Looks nice. We've got heaters and coolers if they need it, but I think we're in a good we're in a good spot. We could do a, a sprinkler for enrichment. We don't know anything else about enrichment for them. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into our vet research and we're going to have to set somebody on the peafowl. Looks like they could they could deal with a little bit more soil. So we're just going to grab our, uh, our soil tool and just kind of get rid of some of that grass. Maybe add a uh, add a little a little bit of rock in there as well. Looks good. So they're they're solid across the board there. Environment with coverage and everything else is good. It's just enrichment that we're gonna need, and we can't can't obviously do that until we unpause, which I don't want to do yet. So now what we're gonna do? We've got to delete this path here, and then we're gonna remake that path along here just so that we kind of have a, a bigger area for the other animals. I don't know that they're gonna need it. But um, it's it's better to be safe than sorry. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna bring it around this way, and just kind of kind of have it ride along just like that. Looks good. And then we're gonna have a few things that we're gonna have to move. So like this bench. What? Are, what? Are, honestly, what are these? Bins, trash cans. Yeah, that's cool. We can we can set these along this way. Grade two, four point one two five feet. And uh, they need a little bit more space, which is which is okay. I mean, 410 square meters. Technically, we we could put another exhibit in this area. So I think we're gonna go with the grade grade three fence, the the wooden fence, just because it matches everything else. We're gonna set that at 1.5 meters. Do we need any windows there? No, people should be able to see over that just fine. Let's go ahead and check out our animals. We're gonna grab all these guys, and we are going to move them into their new habitat hopefully they're all going to be happy together technically interspecies enrichment works let me let me take a look at him hold on let's take a look at our zoopedia so black wildebeest interspecies enrichment common warthog these guys should work fine together i guess you never really know they might have a bad attitude so we're just going to bring them in and uh bring them in and see what happens we've got all four of these I'm guys sure in you here know by now how to make your animals happy so you'd best get that sorted before the inspector gets you. Sorry, did I not mention there was an inspector coming? <laughs> oh dear. For this wildebeest, let's take a look at terrain. He needs more soil. Other than that, he's good. For these guys, if we look at terrain, they need more soil. Otherwise, they're good. So if we just grab the terrain tool, we put it on some uh, some soil and do a little, little swat of soil there, that should make everybody happy let's go all right easy enough there these guys want some hard shelter i think these guys are going to want some hard shelter as well we can set this over in this corner set some of this bedding up like this i don't like that the grass is coming through so i'm trying to cover up all the grass all right that that looks pretty good so now that should check the hard shelter requirement nope I'm thinking maybe it's just not big enough i'm thinking maybe we need a little bit more shelter so i'm gonna put uh I'm gonna put this guy up against it like this. How does that look? I'm gonna put a large food trough over in this corner. That looks good. We could put a small food trough over here. We could put a water trough over here and uh, maybe like a water fountain thingy over here. Just like that looks good. I'm gonna put a, a little sprinkler right in the middle if they wanna get kind of crazy. We could put a soccer ball. We could put uh, a grazing feeder over in the, the kind of grazing area over here I'm trying to see I mean boxes are we sure these guys like boxes and stuff I guess they do it's working forage box should should be a good food enricher as well so we can we can set a forage box down and that's that's gonna get the one for the uh, the warthog so we need more plants for the warthogs they want a little bit of, of plant coverage not a lot so we're gonna come in here we're gonna look for uh, we're gonna look for grassland tropical on the continent of Africa. I think we could definitely put a baobab tree. Baobab bob trees are dope, dude. I like those a lot. So that got our plants up and then we could put some, some little ferns maybe over here. Maybe one over here. Kind of make their, make their little, little sleeping arrangements a little more private. Looks good. And that's gonna get us up to the coverage that we need. Okay, 
I mean, we could definitely add more, but it's not our zoo, so I don't I don't want to take too long on it. You know what I mean? So boom. All right, we're, we're looking pretty good there. So let's take a look at our other objectives. We want overall welfare to 90%, which we're at 86%. Let's see who's not happy. Let me go in here, go to our zoo, go to our animals. We're gonna sort by welfare. Looks like the flamingos are not happy. They need more enrichment. They like mirror mobiles. So I'm gonna put this up here and there. They like sprinklers, so we could we could, where do we want to put a sprinkler? What do you think would be good for a sprinkler? Sprinkler, uh, maybe over here. We could put a sprinkler over here. Ooh, well, it seems that with our new pandas and other species, we've attracted lots and lots of new guests. Let's work on making sure those guests are kept happy. That means making sure they have great views of the animals, lots of places to buy food and drink, and, well, lots of places to get rid of food and drink. <laughs> Toilet. It's a nice way to put it. You should think carefully about where to put your guest facilities, though. For instance, don't put all of the food shops in the same place. Just look at how the guests are distributed around the park and put your facilities where they'll be needed the most. Okay. As long as you remember to pay attention to what the guests are thinking, you'll soon have a handle on what everyone wants. Easy enough. So pay attention to where the crowds are. Pay attention to where people kind of group up a little bit and uh, that's where you want to put your stuff so we want to uh place buildings to increase happiness place a cheap beef a cosmic cow milkshakes an information center and a toilet block okay so a chief beef what do we have here what is this this is a, a memento shot but that says you're about to leave you don't think you'd want one there i'm thinking um I mean, there's a lot of people in here. How much How much space does this dude have? Is he happy with his space? Looks like he's got plenty of space. Looks like there's other stuff he's not happy about. Whoever was running this zoo before did not do a very good job. He's got plenty of space. I think what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna move these guys, move these guys across. I think we're gonna put a chief beef right here. Boom, right like right like that. All right, so we've, we've got that sealed off and now we're gonna be able to come into facilities. We're gonna take a look at uh, guest facilities. We're gonna look for food and drink. And we've got a, uh, where's where's Chief Beef? Chief Beef, right here. So we're gonna be able to move this right, uh, right like so. I can't figure it out, but anytime I try to place a Chief Beef here, like we have plenty of space, it keeps telling me terrain modification failed. I don't. I don't really know what can we can we place it over here? It's gonna let us place it there though. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna say screw it, dude. I mean if if it's not if it's not gonna let us use it, then we're just we're gonna do it like this. Cosmic cow milkshakes. We can place that right next to it. I mean obviously if this was our own zoo, we would we would take these placements a little bit a little bit more seriously, but this is just the the, the career mode. It's not like we're gonna see this this zoo again. So we've got an, uh, a very nicely themed toilet block here. We can uh, we can set this up just like that. Oh, Boom. Sounds like the inspector's almost here. Now, I fully expect you to pass with flying colors. I hope so. Anything less, and I might have to organize a little job exchange scheme for you with whoever's mucking out the pandas. I mean, we've got a a really nice zoo here. There's there's no way we're not gonna get get two and a half stars ah so you can actually see him as he's going along he gave us some um, oh we've got some starving saltwater crocodiles but you know what it's still four star anyway no big deal our macaques are looking good uh greater flamingos are looking good he's uh in a route to the tapir and a copy has he given us a, a panda answer yet panda habitats looking good your boy put that together that's what i'm talking about so let's see he is uh he's about done Goodness, you know, I really can't believe just how much you've come on during our time together. <laughs> it goes to show, Bernie's got a keen eye for talent. Oh, and speaking of Bernie, he's not finished with you yet. He's got a new job for you in Canada. I get the feeling that you'd best pack a warm coat. Oh, listen, it's been wonderful getting to know you, and I'm sure we'll meet again, but in the meantime, good luck. I've been told that there are smiles on the faces of all of the guests. 
And that's a real testament to the hard work you've put into this place. And if anything, I hear the animals look even happier. <laughs> Although, in all honesty, it's, it's hard to tell with the pandas. They're so, uh, <laughs> enigmatic. <laughs> now, I'm told that Lin Lin's quite the character, though. Oh, oh, she's really been a hit with the visitors. You could even say the business is bam booming. <laughs> and, fingers crossed, we might even be able to feature pandas at some of my other zoos. Now that you've shown everyone, we know how to cater for their welfare. I shouldn't be surprised, though. After all, you've become a very capable trainee zoo manager. I suspect there isn't a single task I could throw at you which you wouldn't handle with aplomb. That said, I think the next one's gonna be a bit of a curveball. <laughs> Love how we're running around picking up his poop right behind him. That's so funny. You you do your your thing, little Lin Lin. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. We are gonna continue on and head to Canada. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.